13 Tips for Weight Loss 1. Reorganize your plate e make half your plate vegetables, a quarter of your plate whole grains, and a quarter of your plate lean protein. When you switch the portions of grains and vegetables on your plate, you'll see a difference. The only caveat. Potatoes, corn, and peas are starchy vegetables, so they go in the grains category. Y-O-U-N-K-I-N-2. Start where you are and do what you see and don't feel like you need to overhaul your entire life starting immediately. Assess where you are currently and then figure out where you'd like to be in the future. A great starting point for mostly sedentary people is to get a step counter and see how much you walk on a normal day. 3. Think big not SMALL focus on the weight loss big rocks there are a few areas that will give you the most bang for your buck when you're trying to lose weight. Prioritizing those and letting go of all the minuti that contribute to overwhelm will make reaching your goals feel easier and more sustainable. On the nutrition front, pay attention to calories, protein, and fiber. For exercise, prioritize strength training, daily steps, and recovery. AVANT4. Look beyond the SCALE while the scale isn't useless, it also isn't the only thing that matters. To help you gauge progress that might not be reflected on the scale, take regular photos and measurements, in addition to keeping a running list of non-scale victories. 5. Give your breakfast a protein BOOST aim for 15 to 25 grams of protein at breakfast. Protein is digested slowly and suppresses hunger hormones, helping keep you full. Additionally, a high-protein breakfast helps curb cravings later in the day. Pair protein foods with fiber and healthy fats, like two eggs with whole wheat toast and avocado or high-protein frozen waffles with nuts, berries, and a little maple syrup. Y-O-U-N-K-I-N-6. In fact, consume protein at every M-E-A-L eating protein-rich foods at every meal, especially breakfast, can help shave extra pounds. Protein slows down the digestive process and positively impacts your hunger hormones. Protein can also do better at staving off hunger than carbohydrates. 7. Limit high glycemic carbohydrate FOODS The glycemic index ranks how quickly blood sugar rises after eating a carbohydrate food. Eating high glycemic carbohydrate foods like white potatoes and refined bread, especially when eaten alone, will cause a surge in blood sugar, followed by a quick drop. 8. Experiment with fruits at dessert TIME fruits are low in calories and carry tons of nutrients like antioxidants and fiber. According to the CDC, only 10% of the U.S. population is meeting their fruit and vegetable intake. 9. Eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and dinner like a P-A-U-P-E-R. It's a saying that has many meanings, but you'll want to take in more of your calories earlier in the day. A study published in November 2019 in the journal Nutrients found that subjects who were given small breakfast and large dinners lost significantly less weight than those assigned to a large breakfast and a smaller dinner. 10. Get into meal planning. Meal planning is one of my top tips for staying healthy and eating well. I'm such a fan of the concept that I wrote a book about it. Taking 5 to 10 minutes over the weekend to write out a menu for the week ahead will save you time, money, and unwanted calories down the road. 11. Make a grocery list and stick to IT once you have your menu planned for the week. Make a shopping list either on paper or on your phone I use notes, but there are apps for this, too. Knowing in advance what you need to purchase at the supermarket will save you time, reduce food waste, and prevent you from purchasing items that look appealing, but you don't actually need. 12. Take stock of what's in your KITCHEN to cook healthy meals you need the right ingredients and kitchen tools on hand. Some staple ingredients I recommend having in your pantry, fridge, and freezer are low-sodium canned beans, canned fish, tomato sauce, whole grain pasta, quinoa, brown rice, low-sodium stock, low-fat plain yogurt, a variety of fresh and frozen fruit and vegetables, olive oil, and dried herbs and spices. These are just some of the ingredients that can form the base of a healthy and delicious meal. L-E-V-I-N-S-O-N-13. Have the right tools on H-A-N-D similarly. Having a good mix of kitchen tools can help ensure easy, efficient, and healthy cooking. For example, a seasoned cast iron skillet is one of my favorite pans to cook eggs, saute vegetables, and make pancakes, since I don't have to use as much oil or butter to keep food from sticking. Figure out where you'd like to be in the future.